Hey, this is Mackenzie from the Clarenson Public Library here with another fun STEAM experiment. Today we are going to be making elephant toothpaste. This is a fun but really messy experiment. So if you're doing this at home, you'll want to put down a tray or some newspaper or tablecloths to contain the mess. And we are going to be using chemicals today, so you'll want to have some gloves and goggles just in case. Now that we're set up, let's see what you'll need to get started. You will need an empty container. We're using a beaker, but you can use an empty bottle or jar. You'll also need one packet of instant dry yeast, as well as a small bowl, some warm water, measuring cups and measuring spoons, and hydrogen peroxide. You can use any type of hydrogen peroxide from the drugstore or grocery store that comes in a brown bottle, but today we're going to be using Hair Developer as it has a higher concentration of hydrogen peroxide available. This is also why I'm using gloves because it is not good to get the stuff on your hands. You will also need, you can also use food coloring in order to make the stripes on your toothpaste, on your elephant toothpaste, but you don't have to. You'll also want to have a funnel to add your ingredients as well as you'll need some dish soap. Okay, so let's get started. Mix together one teaspoon of instant dry yeast or one packet and three tablespoons of warm water. So that's one. That's two. And that's three. And now you're going to stir that together. And once you've stirred it all together, we're going to let it sit for one minute. So while your yeast sits, we're going to measure a half a cup of the hydrogen peroxide solution. Okay. We're going to use a funnel to put the mixture into the beaker. Okay, and next we're going to add some dish soap, just a squirt, and we're going to swirl that together. Now we're going to add some stripes of food coloring down the side. So I got some red and some blue. And now that it's been a minute, we're going to add the mixture into the container. So I'm going to use another funnel. You're going to swirl it together and watch it foam up. The mixture should start to expand right away, making the tooth toothpaste big enough for an elephant. Make sure you don't try to brush your, brush your teeth with it, though. Hydrogen peroxide is made up of molecules, specifically two hydrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms. When hydrogen peroxide breaks down, it turns into water molecules, which are made out of two hydrogen and one oxygen atom. The extra oxy oxygen atom is released into the atmosphere as air, causing our mixture to bubble and expand. The dish soap helps make more bubbles, which helps the toothpaste rise. The yeast acts as a catalyst. A catalyst is a material that speeds up a chemical reaction. The yeast helps break down the hydrogen peroxide molecules faster, making the reaction rise quicker. Seems pretty simple, right? Well, we had to try this experiment more than three times to get it to work 
the way we expected. We tried changing the type of hydrogen peroxide multiple times, the tools we use, and finally the yeast. We found the fresher the yeast, the bigger reaction you tend to get. It may have felt like a failure, but it's all part of the scientific method. The scientific method is a set of rules to help scientists figure out how the world works. It involves asking questions, getting information, making a hypothesis, which is a prediction or guess, planning, planning an experiment, observing what happens, and making conclusions. We did all of that today in this video. After you make a conclusion, go back to the first step and run through the scientific method again. We had to do this a lot to get this experiment to work. So if your experiment fails the first time, take what you have learned and try again. You may never know what will happen the next time. And remember, you learn a lot from things not going as predicted to. For more fun experiments and STEAM projects, check out our STEAM playlist on YouTube or grab some fun books like these. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to like these videos and subscribe to our channel. Bye!